Let's listen in and watch this launch, Blue Origin, headed to space with Billy Michelle. expect this trajectory, the booster and the capsule, to last about three minutes or so? Yeah, actually, at two minutes, they have separation between the booster and the capsule. This is when the aerodynamic stresses on the vehicle were at their maximum. Let's make the point, if we can, Savannah, we are listening to the voice of Blue Origin Mission Control. This is not NASA. This is a private company's voice of mission control, and we are, we are very much dependent on their voice and their knowledge as to what's going on. And the folks aboard that capsule have been prepped for all the bumps, all the feelings, all of the noises that they may be experiencing right now. That was part of their safety training, right, Tom? Thank you again, everybody, for joining us live That's for right. New Shepard's and second human flight with Audrey Powers, again, you're, William you're listening Shatner, to the, 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 the voice of Blue Origin there. And on board, they are well on their way to space so far. A nominal flight, a clean burn on our Blue Engine 3. New Shepard giving them a beautiful flight to space this morning. Nominal, of course, is uh, NASA terminology, meaning it's all going great. Um, you're absolutely right. So they have been practicing this dozens of times for the last few days over and over and over again. And listen, you know, at the age of 90, it's not necessarily easy to get in and out of that seat. That's what Shatner has been working on. Now we've had main engine cut off. The BE3 engine has shut off. And in just a moment, we're going to separate the capsule from the booster. And at that point, our astronauts will have the opportunity to get out of their harnesses and enjoy the beauties of zero G. Let's wait to listen. And there you can see a clean separation between the capsule and the booster. That's a beautiful shot. Now, Savannah, we are going to be very much just dependent on listening to open microphones inside the spaceship. And there you can see the capsule from the top of the booster. Zero G. Tom, do you they expect to see sent over the any line. signal from, You'll from know the, the uh, capsule when itself? The speed hits zero. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Savannah. Did not catch your question. My apologies. What did you say? Well, uh, you, you, you talked about the open mics. We might hear some from inside the capsule. Would you expect to see any images, or is that something we'll see later? Our crew capsule. If it's if we follow the same script as in July, they provide most of those images after they're back down on Earth. So um, I think what we can bank on, hopefully, are is the live audio feed of them enjoying zero G, and then once they are back down on Earth, we should see those images released. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.